Hey Rob, what's a polarized lens? Polarized lenses have a filter that cut out reflective glare. Should I get polarized? Depends. But what's PRISM? PRISM is amazing, and if you want to learn about PRISM, polarized, PRISM, polarized, and if you should get a set, stay tuned for more. Hey everyone, this is Sunglass Rob from Sport RX, and this is my buddy Andrew. He's our in house Oakley ambassador, and today we're here to talk about polarization, prism, and prism polarization. But, real quick, if you're interested in learning more, check out our blog below. All right, Andrew, you know what prism is probably better than anyone. Tell the nice people what's prism. So, prism is Oakley's patented lens technology that works by manipulating the light spectrum and boosting contrast so that everything in your environment just pops. All the details are easier to see and pick up on. You put that in a very edible way, but I'm just gonna say it's amazing. You put on these lenses and the 15 years of research from Oakley R&D and their engineers and this amazing new lens dyes that they've discovered just give you so much contrast, so much boost, so much saturation. It's like a whole new world with lenses. It's amazing. Okay, next question is what is polarized? You tell me what polarized is. Well, a polarized lens basically it just reduces glare, Yeah. right? So a polarized lens cuts glare, prism lenses boost color. So a polarization, how it works is when the sunlight comes from the sun, it comes down in a vertical wavelength. When it bounces off anything flat or shiny, like a chrome bumper or water, it comes back vertically and horizontally. And those two wavelengths vibrating together is that really nasty like glare ball that you get like off the ocean or off that chrome bumper where it's like almost blinding. And the only thing to reduce that specific type of glare are polarized lenses. So they really do an amazing job filtering out glare. So we talked about prism, we talked about polarized. I guess the next question is, can you get prism lenses in and polarized? You can. Now are all prism lenses polarized? Not all of them are polarized. Should all prism lenses be polarized? No, they should. Ah, so the question is, Polarized lenses are clearly better. Should I wear them all the time? Is it for everything? And the answer is no. It's not really better. They're different. They cut out glare. If you're on the water, they're better. If you're fishing, they're better. If you drive the same direction every day and the sunlight hits the car bumpers on all, in the traffic and it's, yeah, then you need polarized lenses. But the specific way polarized lenses work, it's not really beneficial for all things. For example, baseball, there's not really a lot of glare if you think about it. I mean, there might be sun in your face, there might be a little bit bouncing off the grass, but that's not really the benefit of polarization. It's really off of flat and shiny uh, objects. And the way polarization works, for some people, not everybody, it can affect depth perception. So the fact that it can affect depth perception and in some sports like mountain biking or baseball, there's not really a lot of glare per se. The added cost and the possible downsides of polarization is not 100% necessary. And Oakley, probably more than a lot of people, understands that your golf lenses probably shouldn't be polarized. So they have prism golf lenses that are amazing and fine-tuned specifically to work best in golf, pop the ball, give you contrast off the greens, help you read the greens, and in fact, in fact, they even have a light one and a dark one depending on where you live and what kind of conditions you golf in, but they don't need to actually be polarized. So just because polarized is great and amazing doesn't you need you mean you need it for everything. Did I start rambling or am I still making sense? No, I think you're you're totally on point and you bring up a good a good point there with with the sport not offered in every sport option just for the, the fishing options, prism deep water, prism shallow water. For every day though, you can get every day in polar or non-polar. Yeah, because it's like kind of up to you. If you if you have if you can afford it and it makes sense for you, then get sapphire polarized. I wear sapphire polarized. I love it. I live in San Diego, it's bright, it's sunny, that we're by the ocean all the time. That polarization is amazing. I love it for driving. But then for mountain biking, I wear Prism Trail and I I definitely don't want them polarized in the shadows and the trail trying to read all the terrain and technical rock gardens I'm up to black diamonds now by the way yeah anyways um, again also for snow um, very very rarely will you find a polarized snow goggle and you're like there's more glare on the snow than anywhere why would it they be polarized and again it's because of that depth perception issue um, it's a little bit safer to go with non-polarized uh, ski lenses snow lenses um, 
Yeah, and that way there's also a kind of a difference. A lot of times the way you see the ice when you're out yes. in the snow is by seeing the extra glare it provides. So having a polarized can reduce the glare almost too much. So there's a time and a place for polarized lenses and there's a time and a place to not have polarized lenses. So I think in, in kind of recapping, polarized lenses cut out a lot more glare. Prism lenses are available in polarized. Polarized lenses are available in prism, but not every prism is polarized and not every Oakley polarized lens is prism. And a lot of these are available in prescription. You know what else is cool? What? The way they make them. Oh! So Oakley HD cool. polarized lenses are actually um, produced as a single layer, whereas a lot of other brands sort of sandwich a polarized filter, kind of slap it on there. The more layers you have to a lens though, the more you lose that, that clarity. Mm -hmm. So all these are, are super clear just as one, one single layer. Um, They're laminated. They are. And, and when you have lamination, you have a possibility of delamination where Oakley's polarization is within the lens. It's not a coating, it's actually part of the lens. And actually Oakley was late to the game to polarize lenses because they were waiting until the technology was just right so they didn't have to use glue. That's kind of cool. Mm -hmm. The other thing is they produce them as a pair. So Oakley authentic polarized lenses are produced at the same time to guarantee that axis of polarization, whereas other brands might produce one at a different time, the axis is off, and then you're letting a little bit more glare through the lens. Right, that kind of causes distortion and headaches. I've had that happen to me. Right. So, uh, in total, that was a lot of things about Prism and Polarize. Hopefully that was helpful. Like we said, there's a blog explaining this a little bit more in detail down below. If this video was helpful, we'd love a thumbs up, and please subscribe to the channel. See it in Prism, baby.